Hey there viewers, thank you for tuning in to Super Mario Diagnostics once again. Today we're going to go through a quick tip on how to calculate your M-clamp uh, attenuation settings or some people might call it compensation settings and whatnot, the 1X, the 100X, the 10X, the 1KX, which one is it, right? Uh, this is something that I think everybody who has ever picked up uh, a scope with an M-clamp for the first time thought to themselves like, uh, what's it supposed to be? And they would either get a known uh, value a known amperage and then try to confirm with the amp clamp to try to then uh, make it work or they went ahead and did the math it's, it's super simple uh, after this video my goal is for this to be surprisingly simple uh, there's nothing complex about it but I do understand that when you first pick up these amp clamps that is um, what's happening so keep in mind that uh, M clamps are translating that current into a voltage. It, it passes the current passes through uh, sensors in the M clamp, and it is uh, translated to the scope as voltage, not as amperage. So you want to set up your scope in order to have accurate readings uh, by translating that voltage into the respective amperage. And you're going to do that by calculating according to the proportion that you receive in the M clamps. We're going to uh, cover seven clamps: uh, two of the Pico ones, one of the AES waves. We're going to go ahead and show you all of them. Hopefully, this will work as to not only teach you how to do the calculation easily, but also to kind of serve as a cheat sheet for those these main amp clamps. There are a lot of amp clamps out there. You'll have a different way of doing it uh, for each one. But for the most part, this should cover most of them. We've got the Pico TA189 amp clamp. It is a 30 amp clamp, super accurate, very big jaw. Uh, great for parasitic draws. Uh, we've got the Pico TA167. It is a 2000 amp max clamp. Great for relative compression testing and whatnot. And we also have the AES Wave 07-60. It is a 60 amp max amp clamp with a smaller jaw. Great for like single component testing. We've got the PDI CA600. And it is a 600 amp max clamp and great for relative compression testing but limited to 600 amps we've got the Hantec CC65 and it is a 65 amp max clamp with a small jaw the Hantec CC650 which is a 650 amp max clamp with a big jaw great for relative compression testing and finally the MIG SIG it is the CP2100A it is a 100 amp max clamp with a medium sized jaw and I've tested it with parasitic jaw testing and it is pretty impressive I gotta say and uh, no batteries included on this one this is the only amp clamp that you don't need batteries for amongst this list all right so let's get right to it the first amp clamp we're going to check out it is the TA189 and all we're going to do really the only math involved here is um, getting it down to the same proportion and reduction. So uh, it's 100 millivolts. We want to get that down to one millivolt to find out what the correct proportion is. So for that, we need to do one amp, which is 1,000 milliamps. Put them down both to the milli, uh, millivolt, milliamp range and start removing zeros, two zeros on the voltage side, two zeros on the amperage side you got one to ten this is a 10x compensation it's that easy really there's nothing to it uh sometimes i i have a tendency of over complicating things so <clears throat> that is it that that is all you need to do to get this amp clamp to work on any scope that you want you and have accurate readings the first time instead of uh having to find other methods to get accurate readings out of this so let's keep moving on with all of the clamps. We're going to do the same exact uh, procedure with all of them. And by the end of this, you'll have a cheat sheet for each one of these M clamps. Here we have the TA-167 on our first setting, the 2000 amp clamp mode. We have one millivolt. Uh, that's already done for us. Uh, one millivolt for 1000 milliamps. That is a one to 1000. So that is a 1K x uh, setting on your scope and on our second setting the 200 amp setting we have a 10 millivolts 
by equals, I'm sorry, a thousand milliamps. Take off the zero, bring it down to one millivolt. Take off the zero on the other side as well. We have a one to 100, which is a 100 X compensation setting on your scope. Now onto our AES Wave 0760, we have on our first setting that we're gonna check out is the 20 amp setting. It is 100 millivolts uh, to 1000 milliamps. Start taking off two zeros here, two zeros there. It is a one to, one, uh, one to 10 proportion. It is a 10 X compensation setting on your scope. And our 60 amp is 10 millivolts per 1000 milliamps, take off that zero. We got a 100X compensation setting on the scope. Next up is our PDI CA600. And this one is very straightforward, is one millivolt for 1000 milliamps. Guys, this is pretty straightforward. This is a 1KX um, setting on your scope. Uh, I'll write it out anyway. For anybody who still is catching up, nothing wrong with that one to 1000 milliamps so remember we're bringing it down to the milli range on both sides of this proportion now we have this Handtech CC650 they made it super easy for us it's already done the job is already done here one millivolt to one me 100 milliamps that is a 100 X option on your probe for the lower range setting on this one i believe that may be 10 or 10 uh, 10 or 20 amps max i could be wrong on that though and then for our max amperage 650 amps we got one, one millivolt for one amp so one millivolt for 1000 milliamps that is a 1kx compensation setting on your scope now we have the cc65 and on our first setting, which is our max setting, uh, 65 amps, we have one millivolt. Super easy from Handtech for 100 milliamps. I don't know why I rewrote that. It's already done in the milli range. This is a 100x compensation setting on your probe, on, on your scope. And the same thing goes for the lower range. I believe it is a two amp max uh, range on that one. It's 10, one, one millivolt for every 10 milliamps. That is a 10 x option on your scope and last but certainly not least the cp 2100 a current probe from from mixig uh, has a 100 amp max setting and a 10 amp max setting the first one we're going to address is the 100 amp max setting it is a little funky to see this particular um, proportion the, the values that they give so 0 0.01 volts that is 10 millivolts for 1000 milliamps so we take off one zero we take off another zero that is a 100 x compensation option on your scope and finally our 10 amp uh, option is going to be 100 millivolts right because it's one volt right here if you move that over i'm sorry if you move this over here it is 0.1 which equals 100 millivolts and if you move it over again my my writing is terrible sorry about that 0 0.01 that is zero one zero millivolts right you still with me Basic math, fellas, but, you know, sometimes it could be, it could play tricks on your eyes. So I, I, I fully understand that. Um, it's 100 millivolts for 1,000 milliamps. Two zeros on this side to get it down to one millivolt. Two zeros on this side to get it down to 10 milliamps. It is a 10x compensation option on your scope so that covers all of the amp clamps that i have currently in my possession i do hope this video is useful uh, to help to aid in uh, calculating what compensation uh, setting you need to set on your scope in order to make your amp clamp accurate the first time you use it if you like the video consider uh, hitting the like button 
And if you like what you see, consider subscribing if I've earned your subscription. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions, if you have a particular probe or a particular amp clamp that has like a very weird designation as to what the proportion is or what the uh, yeah, amperage to voltage proportion is. Be sure to leave it in the comment section. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.